Welcome to Enrollment on Demand. In this video, we will learn the steps a healthcare organization takes to create a surrogacy connection with providers. Surrogacy allows the organization to complete internet-based PECOS applications and other actions on behalf of the provider. The information given in this training is correct as of the date of publication. The most current information contained in this presentation can be found on the Noridian Medicare website and the CMS website at the links listed on this slide. Surrogacy requests are normally made by an authorized official or access manager. To make the surrogacy request, log into Identity and Access, navigate to the My Connections tab. A surrogate is someone who will act on behalf of another person or organization. On the My Connections page, click on the plus sign located to the left of the organization's name that desires to act on behalf of the provider. The organization selected will expand. View the resulting list to determine if the provider is already connected. If they are not, use the Find Provider button. There are multiple search fields available to use in the search for a provider. Using an MPI is more specific and avoids additional providers with the same name populating. Enter the NPI and search. The search results area will appear for the NPI that was entered. Selecting the radio button next to the name will display further actions. Use continue to move forward in the process. Select the radio button next to the name and choose desired business functions. Selecting all of them will provide the requesting organization the ability to perform actions on the provider's behalf in all areas. Once the choice has been made, click Continue. A confirmation page displays. This confirmation tells who it is that the surrogacy request is for, what business functions are being requested, and an email field. Sometimes a provider hasn't updated their identity and access account. This results in the request going to a bad email. To avoid this, the additional email allows a known valid email address to be entered. Enter an email that you know will reach the provider or have it sent to the requester. Near the bottom of the confirmation page, a listing will show all NPIs that are associated with the provider. Individuals will only have one NPI. Organizations may have multiple. A newer feature in the Identity and Access is the ability to request multiple connections at the same time instead of the time consuming one at a time. If you have multiple providers to request surrogacy access to, use the Multiple Connections option. Multiple Connections provides access to both requesting connections and disabling. Focusing on requests, select that button. You are now at a page that provides instructions and a link to a template. Download the form using the link under Request Multiple Connections CSV Template. Complete the open form. The form is savable to your desktop and after submission can be manipulated to add additional columns for your record keeping should you wish. There is a limit of 100 per form. Follow the submission steps to ensure the successful request for surrogacies. Back on the My Connections tab, surrogacy requests will display under the organization with a request status. This also tells you the request submission was successful and is pending the provider approval. Use the provided tracking numbers to view progress and additional information about the request. The tracking ID opens to allow canceling a request, document management, a list of associated NPIs, and notes about account activity. 
Alert the provider to watch for an email requesting surrogacy from a do not reply at cms.gov. Sometimes these will go to a junk or spam folder. It contains information about who made the request, links to access the request, tracking IDs, and more. Ask them to use the email to approve your request. A surrogacy request has been successfully completed. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our tutorial. Continue your learning experience by referring to additional recordings available on the Noradian website or YouTube channel.